Okay, so I thought I'd uh, try and give a little update on the river tool I've been working on. So it's working quite well now, even though there's still a few things to even out. So let's try and create a river that will fill in this river bed. This is just a terrain I've made with Silence Terrain Tool. So I've generated a river here. As you can see, it's just this little piece that is on a curve that reacts to whatever you do to it. I'll just set the albedo to have a full alpha here so it's a bit easier to see. Okay, so let's try and see if we can shape this river according to the river bed here. So I have a couple of tools set up to make this easier. So the river object here has its own uh, path system looks very similar to the, the build-in path, but we have this function, which is snap to colliders, so we can do stuff like this. I'll actually just hide the boulders while we're setting up the river. So now we can slightly easier shape the river here along the riverbed. So let's be just try and quickly do that. Okay, and then we can just uh, raise the entire object a little bit here. Okay, and then we can adjust the width here along the river. Oh, and we might just want to turn off Snap to Colliders now that we have moved the river up a bit. So yeah, as you can see, there's, there's handles for the, the direction of the path, and then there's handles for the width of the river along the path. And as you can see here, we're getting some slightly sharp angles, so we can just uh, raise the amount of geometry that's getting generated for the river here. And just uh, adjust the angles a bit to whatever we like. So let me just quickly adjust the angles okay and let's see if we can get the so obviously we'll want the it to be wide enough that it's uh, colliding with the edges of the riverbed here Let's see. We can get all this set up without it taking an eternity. Oh. Mm, I'm not sure. I guess this is just angled a bit strangely. Okay. Let's see. And. So, this is looking pretty good. We just want to put the beginning of the river inside the terrain here. Okay, and maybe make that a bit wider. Okay, so that all looks pretty good, I think. Ah, not not perfect, but it's pretty good. Okay, so what we can do now if we um, share the boulders again, then when we select the river here, we of course had the options to change the path, but we also have some extra options in here. So let's try and generate the river uh, textures, and we can set the resolution here. And then we should get some pretty nice uh, foam textures, and we're getting uh, low maps as well. Now, of course, it looks a bit intense because the the alpha is set to this color, if we set it for like a, a muddy color and then pretty transparent. And we might just need to set the foam amount a bit lower. Okay. Yep, and that's um, that's basically what you can do at the moment. Uh, if you if you change it, um, the the map uh, clears and you can see that we have a warning here that no flow map is set. We need to rebake the map. So. 
we can again we can bake a new one we can um we can add some small objects for it to avoid and uh bake the river one more time see if it adds it in yep wouldn't you know it it does And of course, like um, we have all kinds of of options for for the roughness, and there's uh, there's still a lot of work to be done on the on the material to make it look better. Maybe have some some light scattering and and stuff like that. But the but the flow maps, which was the thing that I was really interested in with this, um, is working pretty well, and and the bake time is pretty reasonable for it. So. Um, of course, like uh, the the menus don't really look all that nice, and uh, I have some some debug views here, but they're not really finished yet and stuff. So there's still a lot to do, but it's actually pretty functional at this point. So yeah, that's all for now. So um, if if you want to try out the tool, you can try it out. It's on GitHub. Um, if you want to support me in making tools like that, you can you can support me on Patreon. Um, you can also try out my other tool, my f uh, third generation tool for, for Godot. Thanks.